just south of St. Petersburg, Florida, is one of the state's best campgrounds. And it's best secret. It's not a private park. It's not even a state park. It's a county park. And if you've ever been there, then you know it's a jewel. In this episode, Lynn, Maggie, and I take you with us as we explore Fort DeSoto. So today we're heading to Fort DeSoto here in Florida. What do you say about that, big boy? <laughs> We've been fishing here a bunch. We've been on our kayaks a bunch here. Uh, it's a fun place to come if you're in the Tampa Bay area. We've never been able to secure a campsite, but I say, all right. <laughs> all right. Maggie, what do you think? What do you think about going to Fort DeSoto? Doing fine. I have a reservation tonight for Poteet. Uh, Mercedes -Benz. Yep. Easy, awesome check-in process. Uh, everything's waiting on us at our site, and we're gonna go there now. <laughs> Look, sunshine. Schooly. At this point, we thought we were here to enjoy one awesome night at Fort DeSoto and then head west to Texas. But as you'll see, things change. And with us, they usually change quickly. One of the great things about being able to camp on an island is all the water and all the wildlife and birds and everything you get to see when you're out here. Pretty cool. There's a dolphin over there circling fish. So uh, our campsite's like right beside a, a bunch of noisy kids. So good thing about a van, we know this part. We're going to go find a little spot next to the beach and uh, hang out for a while and get away from all this noise. And we wanted to do that anyway. That was just an old man complaining. <laughs> having your home in a van like this is that we can pull down and have, well, let me show you. Yeah. Jared, is this okay for lunch? Yeah, <laughs> There's the sky Skyway bridge. bridge. Yeah. What more could you ask for? This is it here. Come to St. Petersburg or this area, Tampa, you have to try a uh, chicken salad chick. Just stay here all day and then. What we'll do. I think that makes sense. So the campsite's like $34 per night. 
and the campsite we have is beautiful for Florida, but it gets you into, gives you access to all the, the county park, which means you can pull the van down here since we have four wheel drive and sit right beside of Tampa Bay, eat lunch, watching the Skyway Bridge. Maybe a big cruise ship will come by too. Granddad had a suitcase kept up on a ship. It was old and dark and dusty, full of memories he kept. One day I went to see him, he pulled me aside He said, son, these are the treasures of 80 years of life He pulled out a picture of a girl with eyes so blue This here is your grandma, she was young like you this one is our only home on the day that we moved in. Look, there's your daddy. You sure look like him. He picked up a diamond and held it in a shaking hand. Tears began to fall. He said, I wish you'd understand that true love is like these pictures. True love is like this home True love is like these memories They just keep on going on True love is like this diamond True love is like this stone Might be the best like day we've had in Florida yet True love shines on That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's, it's like, you know, the first time you get to feel the sun, it's warm. Yeah. In the spring kind of feels like that. It does. Kind of long winter. And... It's been a long winter. <laughs> Three weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> we just about gave up on coming to Fort DeSoto today and tomorrow uh, because yesterday and today were the two coldest days in Florida. The young man that checked me in, I don't know if I got it or not, but he told me that he had frost on his windshield this morning, and that's just not something you see. But if you're out here in the sunshine like this, I don't know. Hard to beat this. It's warm. It's hard good. to beat. He held out the diamond, placed it in my hand, said, Give it to that pretty girl, love her all you can, and make me a solemn promise, make me a solemn vow. Things get rough, they're gonna get rough You're gonna make it through somehow Because true love is like these pictures True love is like this home True love is like these memories That just keeps on going on True love is like this diamond True love is like this stone True love shines on well, that was a fun afternoon of just relaxing next to the bay. And now we're back over here just in time to watch the sunset. Hard to be we still have a suitcase. It reminds me of the man. We still have that diamond. It still glitters on her hand. And this old house is only home my family's ever known because true love shines on true love shines on true
We're back from our walk. Let me show you our site we had. Yep, that there is a nice site. Trees to make Lynn happy. Place to lay around so Maggie's happy. We didn't get a lot of sun for solar, but we do have electricity, so it doesn't matter. Pretty cool site. And then back here is where we showed you the water last night. We have to move today to a different site, but that's the price you pay to uh, get to stay here. But we need to go to another site. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I know you were comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Come on. So here's our second site here at Fort DeSoto. It's not on the water, but we think it's pretty awesome. So they have all kinds of great bike trails here at Fort DeSoto. So that's what we're going to do next. Get on some trails and ride our bike. <laughs> Sometimes when you're out like this on the bike, you find things that you just want to stop and just take in. We're really enjoying being able to just stop and sneak up on wildlife and then zoom in like this. It's awesome. Ever so often there's a girl's night out in the wee wee hour. She comes calling all right, saying, baby, 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 let's wait some time. That pelican back there, that, that little lady, that was special that right was. there. That She's was, she's beautiful. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to think about that. from the top of the fort. It's pretty up here.
look around There's stuff to be learned But it to be turned it seems Yes there is You got to pay your dues Before it's all cookies and cream Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey there. <laughs> she can hop when she wants to. Look at that tail wagging, mommy. Happy tails, happy tails. <laughs> Where'd it go? But if you're willing to roll up your sleeves, there's no end to what you can achieve. That's something else. So we thought last night's sunset was awesome, but look at tonight's sunset. You got to pay your dues before it's all cookies and cream. You got to pay your dues before it's all cookies and cream. Nip in the air. Freezing rain, it's all on the table from winter storm Landon. This precip is going to be pretty widespread going from Tuesday night from the Rockies to the Plains, parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and by Groundhog Day Wednesday, expect major disruptions in travel. Here's a look at the latest winter weather alerts, including the warnings and Wednesday's forecast. Ooh, look at that, looking dangerously icy from Texas all the way up through western New York. So you watch this, watch the uh, weather announcement. It looks like everywhere, especially down into Texas, where we would be by this next weekend if we left tomorrow morning as we planned, would be covered in ice. All right. Extremely cold. Uh, yeah, the, 19. The, the night we're supposed to arrive in Big Bend, 19. And it's beautiful here in um, Florida right finally, now. Finally got some warm days. Uh, so. so guess what we've been doing? We canceled the Texas reservation that we've already booked. Uh, we've now booked two more nights here at Fort DeSoto because we love it here. And we've added one more night to Oscar Schur further south. And I don't know. I think we may stay in Florida for seven or ten more days and let this weather and cold <laughs> stuff get the crap out of the west and then head that direction. So we'll get smarter. If we is. can find a place to stay here in Florida. Yeah. We found places that we can stay. Um and so we have Thursday night. We're now working on Friday and Saturday. And if we can get through that, then that means we can make it until next Friday to start heading west. And that may be a better timing. So anyway, <laughs> the great thing about having a van is things can change, can't they? Yeah, and it's pretty and easy to... I'm really glad you saw that. I mean, I heard news today, but I've been so focused on getting things ready for tomorrow that yep. I just didn't even think that we're heading into major trouble. So yeah. the van can handle it. 19 degrees, the van will be fine. But uh, my uh, one of my heroes, James McMurtry, has a song that says, nothing's more dangerous than Texans on ice. And I kind of <laughs> feel that way. I could have stayed the crap away from there. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to delay going out west. I don't think we're going to cancel going out west, but... I think you can see from us, you'd never know. That's right. <laughs> More from Fort DeSoto, though. Awesome place. Yeah, awesome. This isn't where we woke up, but this is where we're going to have breakfast. <laughs> this has become our spot here. You like it, don't you, Maggie? This is spot. Well, look at this. Today is the first day that's been warm enough that we're sitting out here in short sleeves, but we needed to put the awning out in order to be able to uh, sit in the shade. Maggie just realized that there was shade out here instead of under the van, so she's out here. We are getting close. You guys know me well enough to know that not everything I cook turns out really well. 
Uh, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't, but Lynn paid me the ultimate compliment a couple of days ago. We went to eat at Five Guys, and after eating there, she said, I would have rather had your burgers on the Black Sun. Now, I'm not sure she was telling the truth or not, but it made an old man smile for sure. Were you, were you telling the truth? I was telling the truth. I would. But because ratio. Ratio, the meat ratio. There wasn't very much meat on that hamburger. But I don't want two burgers. You can get two burgers. Bon appetit, guys. Bon appetit. Let's eat. Thanks for being part of this. We've had a really good time at Fort DeSoto, but mm, gotta dig in. Mm, mm, mm. Here's your bite. It's a good one. Mm. What's going on? Who wants a bite? Is it good? Hey, is it good? Give me five. It is good. Okay. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Are you sitting beside of me? That's crazy, man. That's all I have. I don't have any more. A bull crap day. I see that whole other <laughs> burger. That's not a hamburger. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a cheeseburger. You don't like cheeseburgers, you just like hamburgers. They look pretty good. Well, I've already had one of these. But I guess, I guess it's time to eat another one. <laughs> <laughs> you see that bird? It's in that tree right there. That look pretty good to you? You bet. <laughs> <laughs> that look like it would be it does all you won't be begging for it huh you are really more than you want that squirrel over there does daddy make good hamburgers oh a double paw <laughs> <laughs> so there's your hamburger does it look good it does just a bite Bite. That a girl. So you've had your hamburger. Do you want a potato chip? You need no stinking potato chip. Look <laughs> how purple the sky is. Since I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was making my cup of coffee this morning and Lynn went to take care of some business at the comfort station. Yep. And what did you see? I saw white pelicans out here. <laughs> yeah, just a ton of white pelicans. And so it's our last morning here at Fort DeSoto and they all came in to tell us goodbye. You think that's what it was? They're beautiful, it's awesome. And watching the gray ones feed, it's been... There, there's just a lot of fish in here, a lot of baked fish, and they're just as happy as pelicans amongst baked fish. What a morning.
do you think? What do you think about going to Fort DeSoto? Just another treat for y'all, Mama. Just another treat. Anyway, here we go. Get me there, Daddy. Are we there yet?